Hello, welcome to Closet Coaching. It's very cold in New Jersey today, um, but I have been going for runs more and more lately because it has been warmer. And I keep um, having this thing occur and I've been wanting to talk about it where, um, so I'll pass somebody running on the trail and we'll see each other from like a distance and we'll get closer and we'll pass. And like in all that time, you have to like look at one another and like judge one another, right? So the other person is coming and she's inevitably usually younger than me, but thinner than me. And this whole narrative can can go can start with like comparison syndrome. And I recognize this pattern from like my whole life because I've always been an insecure person. Um I I don't say that about myself now, but I certainly always was. And so that whole dynamic was very like real to me and there's a narrative that comes up that just is automatically there that I now like shut down quickly, but um I hear it still. Like I still know that what it's saying. And I just want to point out the difference between what used to happen and what happens now. Um, so you can maybe use it as a technique. So it used to be where I would automatically be like, oh, she's better than me. She's thinner than me. She must have been judging me. What is she saying about me? What is she thinking about me? Oh my God, those things she's thinking about me are true. Oh my God. It just like makes you look at yourself in this light of like from her eyes. And then all of a sudden you see all your worst flaws and like warts and all. And you just like feel really crappy about yourself. And then you go home and you feel like shit for the rest of the day. Um, and now it is, it is not like that because I refuse to hand someone else that amount of power. I refuse to, it's really not about them at all. It's more about, I refuse to give away that much power because I am the one who lives in my body every day, who knows myself and who knows my value and who is experiencing my feelings and emotions and, and moods. And I am not about to like let someone else who like doesn't even care affect that and affect my sense of well-being um, anymore. And so it's kind of like, um, I think of it almost like the way I parent my children in terms of like when they're very, very upset and they're, you know, like in an emotional state that's like, they're just like all over the place. And I'm, I just have to kind of get on their level and be like, look in my eyes, look in my eyes, look at them, you know, and I, I need to emotionally regulate them. And they're sort of like flailing at that point. They can't focus. And it's like, you just got to get them, look in my eyes and listen to me. Everything is okay. You know, and you sort of connect that way. And it's this whole process of like getting yourself to look into your eyes, um, metaphorically and like understand that like, no, we aren't doing this anymore. Like we don't need to give away our power in this way anymore, despite how, how you've been trained to react to someone in comparison mode. Like we're not doing this anymore. This is not serving you. And like, you don't have to do this it, th that way anymore. So like, stay with me here. And it's almost like that, like consistent reparenting of yourself to bring you back to like, no, no, no. Like this is what, this is what our values are now. And this is what we are not willing to give away anymore. We're not willing to do this to ourselves anymore. Um, over and over and over that I think just eventually drowns out the, as my client calls it, um, shame shower that tends to happen when we get into comparison. Um, so the next time I, maybe you're running or whatever you're doing and you find yourself in comparison mode, just try to get yourself to like get on your level and like look in your own eyes, <laughs> like in this metaphorical way and tell yourself like, no, we don't, we're not giving away, we're not giving that away anymore. Um, yeah. Let me know how that goes. <laughs> Talk to you later.